This video and many others like it are available on Curiosity Stream for the low, low fee of under $14 a year. Entering a voucher code pounds for pounds 91 you shall receive no money off. Hello friends, viewers, subscribers, casual sharers, the curious amongst you that have found this mess. How we doing? Good day. It is Thursday the 10th of February 2022. It is one minute past 10 in the morning. It's approximately nine degrees. Has rained the previous evening. Uh, paper and plastic once again. Only the best, the old PP saga, paper and plastics. Um, hello, how you doing? I trust you're all well. As always, thank you very much for the kind comments and uh, compliments, good words, questions, sensible input, appreciated. So today, still the same 15 plate vehicle. Noisy. There we go, so, yeah. Don't ordinarily uh, take the gloves off, but these are so chunky and uh, don't offer a great deal of dexterity that I'm kind of required to. So long reverse down the hill, gently, gently, gently. Checking the mirrors incessantly. Whoa, that's a tree hitting the roof. See, um, wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. Yes, checking both sides of the road incessantly because car doors may open, a child may step out, cyclist, elderly, whatever. Uh, that, I believe I was told reverse down because there's not enough space to spin it at the bottom. We shall see shortly. So reversing gently, it's all good. Got the food waste guys here. Mmm, what a delicious vehicle, the old Isuzu Easy Shift. Oh, good Lord. I know some of you are quite keen that I should drive that. I don't uh, choose where I go. I merely turn up and I'm told what I'm doing that day. So I've got three loaders on the pavement. I believe the other one is a uh, food waste lady. Driver or loader? I don't know. Uh, my two guys, pretty full bins, I've got lots of sacks on. So I should be reversing gently. The guys appeared on my near side, both of them have appeared. Well, kind of. So I'm holding it on the brakes. There we go, he's appeared. So reversing gently, gently, gently. Got a bit of a uh, uh, turn here, so a slight bit of left lock. Don't know what this lady's running for. I think she came from that E class, I could be wrong. I'm busy looking behind me, not what's going on in front of me. So I'm just checking she ain't going to run in the road. Check my colleague's all good. Again, take it nice and slow. Got plenty of time to get this stuff done. Um, yes, I believe at last count, 2,600, 2,700 subscribers. Wowee. Um, I'm flattered. I'm flabbergasted. I'm particularly put, uh, not put out. That's a, that's, that sounds negative. I am really, truly very surprised, flattered, and... Uh, <laughs> Trying to make words at this point as I'm reversing. Yeah, truly taken aback. That's what I should have said. Taken aback. The fact that people have been watching this old channel since 250, 500 subscribers. My videos were terrible back then. They're just exhaust and dogs and nonsense. So, yeah, I really am very appreciative that you uh, have stayed with me for all this time. New loader today. He's been here for a couple of years. First time working together. Very good worker. Good camaraderie, teamwork, and coordination amongst ourselves. Oh, a subscriber indeed. Come on, come on. Although I've waved to him on the rounds, what have you, because I'm a very civil colleague. Uh, today marks the first time we actually met, and I was greeted with your pounds for hounds, aren't you? Which uh, almost left me speechless. I was like, oh, you've seen my videos then. Keep the bin up, it's pretty full. So the near side compaction, the offside compaction. Can't see a great deal, so we'll drop the bin, see if we can uh, get some scoopies in for you. I ain't got a curb to stand on today, so can't really see a great deal. I'm only 5'10". Give it another courtesy one, and on the plastic. So both operating in unison. Yeah, seeing some plastic on the floor, responsible. And then both up, oh, the paper beat it by a few seconds. So yeah, look, bottom of the road, 
comes to a T. So I reverse the bottom, sorted out their bins. They should be reasonably full again. And we'll uh, way pick up their mess. Uh, I've just clocked at my blower. Well, I saw it in a moment ago indeed when I first started reversing. Uh, the screen looks all weird because I've got the GoPro app open, adjusting the camera angle on my head. I will get that screen off shortly. It's, it's no distraction to me, but it might seem a bit un aesthetically unpleasing to yourselves. Um, indeed, I've had American people and people from New Zealand and continental Europe. I, when I started all this, I didn't envisage not only I would have the viewers, the viewership that I've had, the subscribers going crazy, but that as broad a cross-section of the nations of this world is uh, represented by my viewership. So people from New York, uh, I believe Canadians as well, uh, New Zealand person, Germans, uh, all manner of Central Europeans. So wow, I'm quite surprised. Right, how the hell do I get off this screen? Oh, we'll just lock the screen, we'll lock it, we'll lock it. Because if I touch that, it's gonna probably screw the video up. So uh, yes, hello to you all. Welcome, this is the UK. It is normally this grey. How we doing, how we doing, how we doing? Whoa. Um, yeah. It's a nice little... Uh, that's as cold as that. It's certainly no through rider, so there's no exit at the other end. Yeah, look. Nice gaffs. So yeah. I hear you're enjoying the commentary and the... Uh, Verve for life. Have to remain positive. Mustn't be ground down by others. I'm not concerned with others' opinions. Keep it positive. Between Ooh. today on and paper, for about one. Yeah. And I think that's late. <laughs> it's a Well, being off a week or two ain't gonna solve it, is it? That's clearly a chronic pain that needs either physiotherapy or a new job. Well, the replacements are worn out. Jesus. Adam's even said to me, he's like, what the that's what, that's what we used to do, isn't it? Well, they will verb those, drive around and pick up things, do what he does. Same with Tony Orr, let him have a lot of car each. You know, we need to rotate it like a rotor. Yeah, basically, because it's, it's not yeah. a young man, it's not an old man's job. No. Use your up. Reverse left or drive? Uh, well, are we these. Drive, driving here, we do these. These. Um, drive, drive left. Certainly. So, uh, we mind the corner pavement, what, tuck it in. Mate, we'll meet him in here. Well, if one, if one of us go in there, then one of us will go next and left down the far side's whole shop. Would you like me to wait or shall I continue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Do you want me to continue or wait here? Um, you can just go in, right? Cool, cool. I'll do that. Alright, alright. I'm happy. I believe I'm happy. Do you like to stay within then, yeah? Nice. Do you want me to jump out now? Yeah. All right. Onwards, onwards. Onwards, my leg. Offside mirror, in gear would help. Come <laughs> on, girl. I've been stabbing that all morning. So, bin is off. Near side mirror, offside. We're zooming, We're cooking on gas. We're not sodding about. Near side mirror check, watch the pavement, watch for oncoming vehicles. Watch the blind spot. Neatly hug the curb, so I imagine this tees off. So yeah, my I'll, G, I'll jump out here. Yeah. If this suits you, my guy, yeah. handbrake neutral. Uh, I shall. We shall assess. I roll forwards for him. Only a meter, because it's because it's very helpful. But had I been more up, more with it, and not talking nonsense, I'd have been a woohoo, zoom in. So excellent. Uh, I reckon it's gonna be a nose right, reverse left. I imagine there's more houses this way than there are that way, but we shall see. So. Space isn't tremendous. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, oh yeah, 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 definitely reverse up there. So, nose right, might have to do two shots. All right, we'll get this done in one. So wrapping the lock on, watching the post, watch the bin, checking the front mirror. I've not really illustrated that in these videos. That's like a cyclist pedestrian mirror. Checking the curbside mirror. So rolling forwards, mind the post, look how close it is. Into reverse, check the shoulder. Mate, he's over there somewhere. So gently, 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 roll it back. Cool, cool. So, woohoo, episode 16. 
Uh, the fact that you people have stuck around so long and persevered with my uh, videos, the commentary, the job insight. Thank you. I do say them, them two words frequently on these videos, but it's, it is without you, the viewer. So if you're a casual, if you for some reason sort this out, sort as in to seek, uh, sort this mess out, or uh, it's been recommended to you, indeed you're one of my uh, impassioned subscribers. Thank you for watching. I'll do it all for you. Um, I primarily started doing all this as a means of documenting in the, not like documentary, but I mean like as history, it's just like, this is what I do, have a look, come join me. Uh, I could ride along, if you will. Uh, in my first video, Christ, was like three, four months ago now, when I was doing the garden waste. Um, yeah, I did not expect it to reach quite the uh, wide audience that it's had, that it has. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's I, I bung this on my head. Got a GoPro Hero 9, if you're curious. Um, with a uh, head strap thing. Gets a bit uncomfortable after a while, but we press on. Um, you know, to talk nonsense and pick up waste. So, yeah. Uh, as a terms of job insight. Yes, I wish... I believe someone put the hashtag with yesterday, respect bin men or something, in the comments. Of your uh, 14's video. Comment section, I mean. Um... That's a lot of paper. They've got their own caddy for it. This looks like one of them integrated kitchen bins. Oh, of course it's got a double handle. Huh. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Good. And a sack. Blimey, these bit looking. Just check it's not cardboard. No, that is paper. Yes, yeah, so um all you uh, keen viewers, be it so if this is your first video of mine or if you're a keen diehard that summary apparently some of you watch this stuff like you binge watch it almost like episode to episode like a uh, series on netflix christ you can put my voice for that long you've got some stamina amongst you um yeah best of luck to you cool 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 but yeah yeah i'll just cruise about film what i do public spaces and all that seek no permission only forgiveness and um yeah, I'll put it up. I say zero editing, no laptop, no Sony Vegas or any sort of like Apple Mac decent computering. I film it. It gets Wi-Fi slash Bluetoothed over to the uh, blower, Samsung S10 Plus. I stitch it together. It takes a long while to render. And then once that is complete, got to upload it to YouTube. That takes quite some time, depending on the uh, 4G signal. Oh come on. Ah, oh, shit, we'll chuck it in. I've had enough now, I'm bored. We'll chuck them all in. These knots are so small and fiddly. See, look, so these gloves, they're okay. They're strong, they're waterproof. I had black gloves on this morning, my thin ones, but they're getting so soggy. Make my hands itch. Thank you, sir. Bye guy, thank you though. Do the keys, my guy, I'll be here. You'll get to it. See, look. No compaction, look. Nothing. So, engine off. Engine on. You'll hear a weird loud beep when the uh, rear end gets turned on the dashboard key. That noise, I don't know why it does that. Yeah, no kidding. Ooh. Neva. Now the lift up, all off and on again, my guy. Leave leave it longer with the lights and the flashings, please. If not, then we've done all we can and we'll go home. Um, yeah, this vehicle, she's uh, tired. It's not got that many miles on it though, but it's not necessarily wheels turning, it's the issue. Of course, it's the electrical sensors and hydraulics and beepy boopies. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. No other lorry in our fleet does that. I don't know why it does that noise. Much better. Yeah, sometimes the uh, 
near side compactor just cuts out or indeed the lift cuts out. Most infuriating means a halt to proceedings. Good, good, good. I know a couple of you commenting on wearing my gloves when driving. I'll take them off because I can't really feel the steering wheel properly. So back a bit. So I've got to grab the curb, avoid this car, blah, blah, blah. So grab the curb. Come on, girl. There we go. Grab the curb, avoid this person's front garden, avoid smashing this motor up. Come on. There we go. Yeah, the steering axle wasn't keen to get the pavement then I could feel it dragging against the curb stones which can then pull the vehicle to the left despite being on full right lock so it hooks onto it like a um, bowling, alley, bowling alley gutter rail once it hooks on that it can push the vehicle away Jesus girl was this evil can evil morning Christ above Ghost Rider minus the flames Jesus, man, there's more shit in here than there is in the back. Can't be dealing with that. This is, our, this is our kitchen, this is our office. Can't be working amongst this squalor. Hey, I don't know if he's done. There's a door, flats. Whoa. Oh, what, this cupboard here? Oh, got, yeah, I was done. All right, we'll wait for these uh, woohoo people behind us. We'll let all these vehicles do their thing. Do your thing. Absolutely. Let's see if this learner understands what I'm doing. So I've given him the thumb of I am reversing. The beacons and the hazards are on. Look at my colleague letting these people out in the road. You let us wait out? Nah, of course you're not. That's right, hit the pedestrians as well. Moron. Uh, I don't care if it's stopped all road traffic now. I've got stuff to do. I want to do it as safely as possible. These people have to wait. I love it when that happens. We'll chuck it on the dashboard, get it out of the way. There we go. DPD can let us out? Nah. Of course not. Got delivery, so no, don't even look in my direction. <laughs> Scumbag. Come on, getting bored now. There we go. Now I get irritable when people see that I'm trying to enter somewhere and rather than offer me just a few seconds grace, they're like, no, 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 I've got to get past him. No, he's too slow. Out my way. Hearty thumbs. And I'll give him a bip as well. We'll give him a little bit. Mind the mirror of my colleague. <laughs> Appears in the camera. So gloves, gloves, gloves. Need sunglasses again. See, there's always palaver. This is why I don't take the gloves off normally. I know it brings dirt into the cab, but these vehicles are filthy anyway. And as long as I clean my hands thoroughly before eating, it's not a problem. Loose fellas, because people can't go to. Oh, yo, 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 right there. there. Christ, this person couldn't even get Lynx Africa. Good lord. That is that is a hard times. What is it from Lidl's? Audi's? Audi's, no kidding. Hey. Close. Whoop. Come on. As a. Uh, George Michael said, the clothes do not make the man. So mustn't judge others by their uh, financial situation or their buying habits. So they might just be a purely functional purchase that still keeps you clean, but it's just because it ain't got a fancy brand on the front. So uh, yeah, just gonna quickly wipe my glasses, got a bit of speck of water on them. Jeez, look at this geezer, man. Poor old sod. I'd say give it up, man, and just get a mobility scooter, look at ya. If it's that difficult to walk, man, it looks painful. You have my sympathies, my guy. Not good. Not good. <sighs> right, let's just go from this place. Let's see if we get some eye contact out of him. Bit of compassion and love, this is what I keep saying to you. You, the viewer. Um, love, compassion, energy, happiness, chakras, enlightenment, love, all that good stuff. Sure thing. So we're turning left. These fellas have got suitable capacity within their receptacles that they'll be able to continue. So we're nudge left, mining for poor parking and the cars overtaking that poor parking. I've just clocked the uh, orange Fiesta behind us is joining us. Wait for it. Offside, near side mirror. 
Oi, 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 oi. So I would say about here. Indicator is on. There's a perfectly decent thoroughfare. Let's see if they uh, take that opportunity. We'll give them a wave to assist them. Ugh. So yeah. Yeah, that poor old geezer out there, man. Not good. I need that thrusting thumb that I poked in his direction. Might be the only acknowledgement someone gives him today. So this is why I said to you in another video. I think it was episode 12 or 13. Take the time to talk to people. A bit of love, a bit of energy and happiness and love and life and all that good stuff because you do not know what people situations or circumstances. You dig? Cool, cool. A camera, madam. Oh. I have thousands of people watching this uh, point of view, uh, day in the life kind of thing. Oh. They're about an hour long, talk a load of nonsense, drive about, put bins on. They like the commentary, they like my interactions with people and dogs on the pavement. And I just film what I do as I do it. No filter, no nonsense. As sincere as I am with you now. Excellent stuff. Indeed. That's a very bright no, no, no. It'd have to be pretty bright for you to notice it against that. But thank you. Have a good day, though. Yes. Um, yes, indeed. And to you. Nice old wooden front door. You are very welcome, my guy. There's not a great deal of paper if you want to take that one. Not enough to warrant emptying anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Speaking of peace and love and goodness to all our people, these, these, these. Mm. Uh, I've had the, the, uh, the Sainsbury's where I got them. Other shops are available. Yeah, so you might have to pause it. Hopefully this is a good enough angle for you. It's, it's difficult to judge what I'm reading so we can see it. Basically this paragraph here, so feel free to pause. Oh, there's a bit inside as well. Oh, I'm definitely have to, this is definitely another pausing moment. So I'll try and open it a bit more for you. They can wait, they're fine, they're good. So yeah, Tony's chocolate, delicious stuff, quite chunky. Uh, lumps in the bar really nice stuff ecologically sound slave free fair trade basically they want to make a better uh, trade in cacao cocoa however you want to pronounce it worldwide well be it in americas asia africa and wherever else it's grown and make sure it's a low impact business and ecologically sound no child slave labor Farmers get a fair rate. Yeah, they're really nice chocolate bars. I think they're not about 250, three quid tops. It's worth it, trust me. Give it a go. You might just enjoy it. There's a, uh, yeah, just remind me, a fellow British YouTuber. Uh, ordinary things. Is it ordinary things? A uh, guy, like a blondie hair, normally wears like a suit jacket, does pieces straight to camera, and he's done a very well i've watched all, every video he's done brilliant channel outrageously funny rib tickling um yes and the video particularly about, about uh nestle products and what they've done in terms of uh baby formula and ch chocolate product yeah understood what drive understood i thought this was reverse but hey that's all cool I'm sure that's reverse up there though uh, yes, ordinary things. Sure, it's ordinary things. Uh, very funny geezer. Uh, super rich people, Uber. Uh, what else he done videos on? But yeah, anyway. Let's rewind 30 seconds. Nestle products. Evil, evil, evil. Poisoning this, that, and the other. Yeah, I thought we went up there, so I reckon. Mm, we should be able to spin it here. If not, I've got that space behind me. So, hug this wall tight. Yeah, of course you want to leave and go to a town to buy some shit you don't need. So you have to wait for a second, matey, because I'm collecting your waste. So hang the lock, keeping an eye on both mirrors, keenly, keenly, keenly. Camera as well, but it's the camera, it's the mirrors that's been most useful. Sunglasses off. Keeps tapping the camera, it's getting a bit wearisome. So I'll reverse and do his gravel stuff. Here we go. So yeah, I'll go far back and sort of these people out. I don't know where other matey's gone, but um, I'll deal with this. 
if I remember correctly, this house over my right shoulder, I'm sure someone told me they own the gardens that are on the left. Glorious, splendor, lot of green space, little outbuildings and huts and summer tea time party kind of, um, not pavilion fat, like pavilion slash pergola, pagoda. Yeah, nothing. That's what I was talking about. So hang on, a bit more, a bit more. I don't want to smash into this house with its overhanging uh, slats. I'm sure there is roof. Peak, 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 peach. Basically the triangle that overhangs. Yeah, look at that. That sure belongs to these people. Look at that. Nice gaff though. As I've, I've met this person before. I'm sure even in peacetime conditions, much less at Christmas, they came out and gave us cans of Coke and what have you. I might even see her today perhaps. But look at this, really nice. You're doing okay when your driveway is longer than some people's streets. This is nice, this area. This is classy. I, don't, I have no idea what the occupants are like, but... Come on, neutral. Nice gaff. You'll note that it's not been doing the buzzing this morning. Uh, some people were keen in the comments to say that I should be pressing the travel button. The travel button doesn't work on the near side of this vehicle, so that's a moot point. Um, yeah, he hasn't done the mysterious beeping yet today, but now that I've said it, it's probably going to do it next time I engage the gear. Um, mm -mm, I know I say um a lot. It's, it's very... Uh, makes me sound very simple as if I don't know what I'm saying or what I'm doing. I say I'm no great linguist or bleh, thespian so I can't necessarily roll off paragraphs of speech with uh, zero hesitancy repetition or punctuation. So, uh, just a minute, I'll break BBC, uh, BBC, I'll just done it again. Eek. That'll be a buzzer. BBC Radio 4 Paul Merton's on it quite a lot. Yeah, just a minute. So you have a minute to talk about a subject, no repetition, no hesitation, no hesitation and no deviation. Uh, man, I'm dro Jesus. I'm talking, I'm driving, I'm loading, I'm, uh, I can only divert my resources so much. Driving's the most important bit. That's, that's why I often I just go silent or go, uh, as I'm, uh, see how to say it again? Christ, can't get that sentence out of the way. Yeah, I'll say, um, as I'm reversing, because I'm concentrating the mirror, my mind has clicked into concentrating the mirror solely, and as such, my uh, mouth stops working properly. Oh, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I'll do a slow drive. Look, front garden, it's a nice gaff, it's classy. Mm. Whereas nowadays, what I'm often finding, hell's hey, that noise? Oh, someone else's blower. Yeah, what I'm finding nowadays in some of the areas we do, like these flat pack new house estates, trashy man, doesn't speak like the class that these gaffs have. I mean, look at this, thatch roof, a uh, bit more, bit more, gravelly, 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 mate, he's there. Oh yeah, we'll swap bins and he might be able to walk back. <sighs> do, 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 a bit more, handbrake neutral, gloves, three points of contact. Walking down the vehicle, there's nothing over my shoulder, it's just this mess here, but we'll sort mate you out. Jesus, man. It's a lot of waste. <laughs> no such thing. Come on. Pardon? Wet places, day places, too. Soggy. But it compacts better, doesn't it? Ah, uh, I've done down, but I've not. Yeah, I see. I've not done that bit, my man. He was commenting that wet cardboard compacts better in the vehicle, but wet paper is a nanny nunu, and it'd be better if it was dry. Uh, with the, these sacks, come on. Depending on how well they're sealed up, I'll rip that off. Because most of our sacks have Velcro at the top to close them, as you see me fussing and fiddling with trying to get these things empty but also some of them just open necked. So if any water gets in, it's gonna be soggy, squishy, heavy, it's gonna stick to places. But it doesn't matter, it's just, it's just, oh, it's just stuff and things, it really don't matter. Um, I say it's my second or third week on recycling. Uh, I think it's about three weeks on recycling now. Oh, no, 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 whoops, see? I'm getting distracted. I'm talking too much cheese. Uh, Man, it's done now. They're gonna have to figure it out. It's not the first time. It certainly ain't gonna be the last, I imagine. No one's hurt. That's what graders and sorters and 
all manner of uh, checks and balances for to cover up mistakes like that. I'm sorry, it's happened. And as I was just saying, the sentence that got me so distracted, <laughs> it's just stuff and things, it don't matter. It really doesn't matter. As Phil Collins once said, I don't care anymore. I'll do what I can, but whatever. Cool, cool. Reverse up there, yes? Because yeah. there is a school, but that's only trader allowed in, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Right, well, let's do another compaction. Otherwise, it's just going to be too full when the other fella tries to dump his stuff in. Might even give it a third go. Freeze plenty. Yeah, definitely. Look how high that is. Let it go all the way to the top, though. Let it sink right down. Cool. Compacting. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Ugh. Yeah, sorry, I did go off when I was up there. I did neglect to mention. business good work my man good lord that's uh yeah i'll say pile i think just... jesus where to start where to start yeah no good show my man top effort more bin men like you please both i'm saying it and my subscribers say it as well we appreciate what you do, good okay. job, good work, thank you. See, we're not all horrible old men, grumpy old sods. Some of us do actually uh, put some effort in and care, despite what I said in that previous street. I say I don't care, that's just words, but I, you, it's clear in my, uh, whoa, whoa, in the way that I work and the enthusiasm and effort that I put in, of course I care. Sometimes it just seems like the tidal wave of nonsense and issues seems like a uh, insurmountable. Ooh, come on, come on. There we go. Look at that. Big old palm. Lots of compaction for you keen crush enthusiasts. It's not quite sofas or beds, but still crushing of sorts. Go. Look at this, Christ almighty, British bloody library of stuff. God, that's a lot of waste. We'll keep the bin up. So I'm often finding, although this is an empty hopper, if you put a particularly full bin in, it seems to pile up when you drop the bin down, it just spills all over the place. Ah, uh, that's better. What's this, what's this, what's this? Ah, I recognize this. Uh, sometimes in a uh, Chelmsford High Street, like the pedestrian bit, um, outside Mark Spencer in Chelmsford, there's a load of um, gazebo-y, tent-y, ma farmers uh, markets, so fruit, veg, flowers, coffee, artisan bread. And this guy, I've had his mixes before. I've had this very one. It is a nice mix. Feel free to read. 
And he's a thoroughly nice fella. Geezer that wears a flat cap. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not encouraging. Why is it shaking? Yeah, nice guy he is. Here, look. Oh, I'll show you that as well. Many flavours. Hang on, I'll do a compaction. You can read a bit more. Yeah, nice guy. Good, good flavourings. Yeah. Little pots. Think about... I'm sure he does a multi-buy deal. If you get like three or four, it's cheaper and this, that and the other. But chuck a bit of chicken and oil in, a bit of fresh chopped onions and peppers and what have you. Nice grub, good flavours. Me old mate, Mr. Spice King. Okay, I'm not a clue what your name is, my man. Uh, I'm not a telephone directory of people in Chelmsford, but no, he's a nice fellow. I've not seen him for some time. Woo, support local businesses. But yes, uh, what was I talking about? Bin men, working hard, crushing stuff. This gaff looks all right. I remember, I've not been here for a long time, but yeah, I remember the wood cladding. Not, that's pretty cool. That looks like um, Sirius Black's house in uh, uh, Harry Potter films. The one that squeezes between other houses. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, this one, look at that. Smooth rendering, classy dark wood uh, cladding, although it's either a different shade or it's been bleached out by the sun. <gasps> Lexus LS400 as well. Oi, 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 that's the next door neighbors, but still. V8 Japanese, Thinking Man's S-Class from 89. Nice motors, do like them. Handsome, big old bruiser. But, um, yes, that's a church, I imagine. Looks ecclesiastical, is that the correct term? Holy, uh, decorative, ornate, that's another good word. Basically, it looks unusual. It doesn't look like a village hall, it looks like a church of some description. It doesn't necessarily have to have a spire. Oh, look. God, Christ above. Bit of blasphemy, do apologize. The church spire on the roof, the cross. <sighs> My religious ignorance shines through there. Channel I recently discovered, uh, religion for breakfast, brown haired guy with glasses. Uh, very interesting videos, watch one about the uh, Temple of the Mount slash, what's it called? It's some, it's, I'm sure it's in Jerusalem, but it's a piece of land that's contested between the Islamic and the Jewish faith. I'm sure the Islamic faith said it's where the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven. And I could be grotesquely wrong here, shoot me down if I'm wrong. I think the Judea Judaism said it's where Abraham sacrificed a son. Something like that. Isn't it uh, the dome of the, the temple of the dome or something like that, the place is called? Yeah, very interesting video. I just need this kind of our way of seeing Oh, soggy, getting splashed there. Yeah, very interesting channel. Um, I certainly need to broaden my outlook and be more embracing and open-minded about other cultures, religions, sects, beliefs, systems, and what have you. Uh, just because I don't know about a subject doesn't mean I should dismiss it. So yeah, Religion for Breakfast, that was a good channel. Uh, Wendover Productions, oh, I mentioned this. Oh yeah, the, my video cut off quite abruptly yesterday about the cake. I did reply in the comments. The very short version is, older woman, she don't put out much recycling, they put it all in the bin. As such, the loaders and her got talking. During lockdown, she started learning how to bake cakes and they, they, they seem to have some regular conversation. Now they get cakes every collection. My faith in humanity is restored. That's why I only buy 10. Yeah. Sort of I'll make them last for two days. <laughs> 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 Might that be a disincentive to take it up in the first place? No, I mean, Easier said than done. Oh, yeah. Well, I've been on this since the vapes that's got last. Ooh, nice. My kind of motor. Onwards. Uh, a Cigarello Brown thing you've been smoking, isn't it? Yeah, uh, well, no, I just thought I had those Justin's. Oh. Horrible smelly old things. Sack, sack, sacks ahoy. Left shot. How are we doing? Everywhere, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> well, to be fair, that should be where we can see it, not what look for it. Curbside. That's it. I say this ain't Crystal Maze, we're not here to look for stuff. <laughs> it should be bang, ready, collect, we're gone. Minimum interruption to service as possible. There was a portaloo I saw a while back. <laughs> Does go for diuretic. <laughs> you didn't have to oblige me and take it. Yeah, go lift it. 
Certainly. Well, there is a petrol station, you might be able to ask in there. Yeah, Alright, <laughs> offer was available. No, I'm off. I'm, I'm outside. No. <laughs> Near side, rear wheel, eh? Don't listen to this. <laughs> Don't listen to this. Assert dominance and lock eyes. <laughs> More than two shakes. Come on. Come on. So she only suspects it rather than knows about it. Uh, hook a left. Why she can't see it? Is then is then that the small slip road left? Yeah. Understood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think I know, yeah. But when I enter, do I want to turn right? Uh, the, uh, do you know where the library is? There's some flats in there. Oh, you're, you're at the Civic Centre. Yeah, I do the Civic, but then there's another one. You go around towards the library, all back down. Oh, right. Oh, opposite. Where there's like a ground floor, glassy. Sorry, I've only just picked up this conversation because I'm, I'm a rude bastard. Yeah, it's basically opposite the library. There's like a Jimmy gym or some. Yeah, yeah, oh, I know yeah. That is, that's yeah. It. Fancy paving. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, you might see this gaff, gaff later on, depends on how long the video is. We're at 42 minutes at present, so woo, we might not see it on video. But basically, there's a major redevelopment in Chelmsford City Centre. Uh, rejuvenation, modernisation, both on the pavement. Whereby, check the shoulder. Um, good. Yes, so lots of money getting plumbed into the centre. We're near London. Please buy our flats at three, four hundred thousand pounds being gentle at this point because anyone could zoom in at this uh, juncture and junction. Um, there we go. Yes. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Words will come to me. Come on. Come on, words. Don't fail me now. Yes, a lot of re rejuvenation chumps, a lot of estates being built, expe extended and expanded. Uh, yes, money being plumbed in. Let's attract Londonites, commuters, however else you wish to uh, categorise suburban middle class wealthy families um young people ain't got a chance moving in around here uh catastrophically dear like we're talking a bedroom a part of a greasy chicken shop 180 200 it's mental uh cool. mind the curb wrap the lock on now because i don't want to smash that wall down come on come on there we go there we go so straighten up so look their bins yeah, they look okay. They'll manage them well. So I'll reverse back a bit more. Near side mirror control don't work. Brilliant. So I'll stop about here. I reckon where that green food caddy is. I can't see anything here, but I'll show have a walk and a talk. Walk and a talk. Ugh. So, uh, yes. Yeah, chance of jolly deer, rejuvenation. Wow. That's a big old gaff. Fancy windows. Uh, I mean like that bay window, wood exterior, bricks, trip extension of the roof, unconventionally coloured, what's this? That's plastic. Yeah, unconventional colour window frames, green rather than a typical white, black or brown. And notwithstanding this fancy fence work here, topiary, fancy motor, nice gaff. Might just a smart looking one as well. So yeah, money. There's obviously clearly some a lot of dollars around here. Uh, just for a bit of geography, that used to be a, that big building there. Used to be a free car park. Is now elderly retirement living because obviously we don't worry about young people. It's only give us your pensions. Yeah, blah, 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 give us your money. So um, yeah, Chelmsford railway station is approximately a five-minute walk over there. So yeah, I imagine these are dollars. Yeah, nice gaffs. Oh, come on. See how they're, picking, they're catching up now. Come on. See what I mean about soggy paper? Look at that. That was once... I don't know what the hell that once was. Yeah, that's what happens to like the Velcro that I keep sodding about with. Yeah, they're cool. So by the time I've sodded about and walked back to the motor, I started loading up my mess. Doubtless they'll uh, caught up, rotate this a bit, give them a bit more space to walk. So I help my colleagues, don't hinder them. 
Even the post box is fancy, man. God, that's got to be a... Even just pulling figures out of my bottom, seven, eight hundred, if not more. It's a two-car drive and a garage. Whether or not you can get cars inside, I don't know, but look at the size of the thing. Lord knows how big the garden is. <laughs> yeah, man, I insist. Ah, oh, mi miserable. As in my fault. <laughs> and that excuse. I mean, this is uh, harassment, racism, bullying. Jeez, more on it than in it. What is the purpose of this? Is some kids' school crossing thing? I think there's a school on this road or nearby. I'm sure I heard kids a short while ago. Oh. We're here. <laughs> oh well, that's, is that a metaphysical question, a philosophical one, a geographical one? Fancy gaff. It's an fancy gaff question, but it just required answer. Ah, oh, witty. Fancy gaff. Fancy. So fancy, I can't even see it from the roadside. Yeah, these are swag. Although endless drone of traffic beside my door would not be so keen, but yeah, nice. So I'm pulling out. So when we exit, lane three, because we want to go to Heart FM, don't we? No, not just yet. Oh. Go back to lane first. Oh, University Way. Yeah. Uh, this lane, this lane. Yeah, because they'll keep us in the outside for a, what, the inside lane. So yeah, Chelmsford Rail Station is behind that. Any bit visible? No, you can't see it from here. I don't want to go to the Pitt Towards the Civic Centre. Yeah. Yeah. When you do, when I do that, I mentioned in a previous video about the uh, new cycle infrastructure that Chelmsford has installed, as demonstrated here. So this is what I was referring to, whereby separate markings, even intersects with the pavement. Ba -bom -ba -bom. Cars can't get in that gap. Keep cyclists very separate. And there's a oncoming traffic version as well. If you look up the near side of this uh, grey learner lorry, you should be able to see some of the red markings. So look, give a quick flick of the head. Yeah, look, so you can see how the cycle lane integrates with the traffic there. So, uh, yeah, much improved. But that's the only road in Chelmsford that has that. So, more to come. But that's a major thoroughfare to get to Brimford Hospital. Uh, might seem odd. I'm talking to myself. I've got yourselves with me. I'm not that rude. Right. But okay. this is for. We're going to start here. We've got to go up there. Yeah, what? Yeah. They're there. You know, we're yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Down, yeah. Might I recommend where that young bird's coming out of that car park now? Drop you there, and then some poor sod has to walk that back there. Oh hell no, not here. Way too busy. So indicator, in inevitable overtake because I'm clearly yeah. going too slowly. Yeah. One, safer. Can't be switch swapping. So we'll let these gentlemen get their bins. Um, I'm speaking much more freely today in front of the colleagues, so I might be putting them ill at ease in my weird ramblings. But I'm not talking to myself. I have an audience that are silent, except for keyboards and words. Good. So uh, it is not as if I'm uh, sitting in a padded cell with a straitjacket on talking. So reversing. Yeah, we'll beat her. So quickly uh, tuck it into this left turn. He's in pulling that space. Check the mirrors. Looking down that road, how's access? Plenty, plenty. You're gonna have to wait, I'm not offering you an alternative. So she's still well far back yet. If anything, if I could do this reverse quick enough, she won't even have to uh, slow down her pace. Cool, thank you. Even though you didn't really wait for me. Thank you, old man. Thank you, young lady. So I'll reverse back, I'll make a start on this street. 
Saab 9000. Nearly bought one of them years ago, but it was disgusting upon viewing. Yeah, full service history, low owners. I get there, there's approximately three invoices from Quick Fit for a water pump and exhaust center section and a tire over a month. I was like, that is not a service history, that's a bill. He's like, no, I, said, I can't present it for what it is, mate. It's like, you're, I was like, yeah, what? we're driving. Come on, Martin. That's my father. I was like, yeah, we're leaving. Let's go. Didn't even sit in it. I got there. Trim was hanging on with black. Uh, sil it was one of them in silver, 2.3 turbo. Uh, there was trim being held on my silver gaffer tape to try and color code it to bumpers. Like, man, you're going to have to wake up very early in the morning to catch me out. It's like as stupid as that. Um, it was a, a rocked box. It was a rotten arches. It was a disgusting vehicle. Only 8900 quid. I was like, forget about it. Oh, forget about it. So, yeah, that, yeah, 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 that didn't happen. So instead, I bought an Audi 80. If you go back from my videos, we're talking. Christ, I don't know how far back the videos need to go. Six, seven, eight years. There's a, I did about two videos on an Audi 80. That motor is what I bought instead of that. The Audi 80 was a uh, itch that I wanted to scratch. Mostly from my youth, but I always had a uh, penchant for them. And I liked them. I was like, that looks pretty cool. I could, I could see myself in that. So I bought it, 800 quid. No, 900 pound. Well, one, two owners, sub 100,000 miles. This is back in 2013, 2014. Uh, we'll leave a bit of space in case cars need to come up, but they can still enter the driver's door of this uh, little uh, hatchback Corsa. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Yeah, I'll do. Um, yeah, I, I lost about 100 quid on the Audi 80 selling it about a couple of months later, because then I bought a, uh, what followed it? Volvo V70. Oh, that was a nice car. That's the one, that's short of these bin lorry videos. That, whoa, not so very tight. Not, it's not very tight. <laughs> Get it, homophone. Homo homonym, homophone. Um, yeah, V70, that's what replaced the Audi. Oh, nice car, nice place to be. 2.4, dizzying 140 horsepower. Um, but unusually, really well specced interior so heated seats cruise control cd cassette uh front fogs uh, some other features oh that was a comfortable car such a nice place to be um yes yeah, so audi 80 volvo uh, v70 uh, i've had two volvo 940s uh if you again look at from my old if you put my videos like highest views not blowing one's trumpet here uh, Volvo 940 3 inch JT exhaust video. Oh, that was a nice car. I would never be able to repeat that experience. Um, P Reg, two owners from new, 130,000 miles. It was a high pressure turbo, so the B230 FT engine, 170 horsepower. No rust, no dents, no blue smoke. Uh, I think it didn't come with a service history, that's why it was cheap as it was. Like none at all, like not a single bill. Um, 465 pounds. I haggled over a fiver. <laughs> but oh, that car was bliss. So 2.3 turbs, five speed manual. Oh, we man, five speed M90 transmission. Smooth, almost like a bang bang. Not quite rifle bolt good, but smooth. Never crunched it, never ground it. That was a beautiful car. A uh, couple of minor paint scratches, but again, the thing was like 15 years old on purchase. No, 96, I bought it in like 2012, so bit of maths. Beep, 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 beep. It's what, 10, 16 years old? 96 to 2012. Jeez, why is my maths failing me? Yes, 16 years old. Brilliant car. Now, their motors, two, three, four grand. Mental how much Volvo 940s cost now. But yeah, half levers, heated seats, cruise control, ice cold air con, electric windows all round. Decent amplified cassette. I do like my cassettes, I do. Uh, color coded mirrors, color coded bumpers, front fogs, of course, being a Volvo. Safe, safe, safe. Uh, even the little headlight wipers are in good condition. What else did it have? Roof spoiler on the back. Oh, I love that car. 16 inch alloys. Wicked, mate. I had a lot of fun in that car. I, I, I've always loved big Volvos, but that was truly. Oh, they say don't meet your heroes, but that car was fantastic. Wrote that off, unfortunately hit someone on a roundabout that would that just come to a dead halt with no brake lights on, on an empty roundabout. Hey, it was my fault, I should have been looking ahead. I was young and stupid, I've learned that now. And I lost a brilliant car that I say I'll never be able to repeat. 
or did I? Uh, a couple of years later, I bought another Volvo 940. Uh, green this time, like a JD teal color. 2.3 non, uh, sorry, non, low pressure turbo. So the B230FK, I'm gonna swear, what a shit box that was. Uh, 700 quid. Uh, after a couple of weeks purchase, uh, the, the uh, rear main seal started leaking on the engine. So I was going for about a gallon of oil every 50, uh, every thousand miles and it was leaking. I had to get a drip tray in the driveway. Oh, that car was shite. Um, yeah, gallon of oil. We only did 25 mile per gallon, 27 on a run. It was slower than my old one and just worse in every metric. Uh, cloth interior rather than half leather. I'll come, no, I'll do it now, I'll do it now, I'll do it now. So mate, he's working it down as well. Uh, oh, that of it was naff. Manual again, the M90 transmission, but not as good. Someone's clearly had a good time on third and fourth gear. Um, and also, yeah, it was rotten. Near side front arch. Spent a lot of money on that motor. Up. Genuine Volvo timing belt, water pump. Uh, lots of braking and fluids and belts and what have you. MOT done. A couple of days later, sorting out the horn, because it was a bit like, the horn was dying. Poked a hole like that big on the leading edge of the uh, near side arch, I was furious. And then, yeah, once with the hectic oil issue, I was like, oh man, scrap it, kill it, move on. That was a, that's the only car I've ever regretted purchasing, the second Volvo 940. I'm gonna stand back at this point. I'm gonna leave the bin here, because if this is a parked car here, you'd have to avoid it, but I'm just gonna stand far back enough that I don't get crushed to death. Oh, credit where it's due. In one shunt, nicely done, nicely done. Um, yeah, whatever cars I've had. My first car, the really early videos on my channel, like we're talking 14 years ago, these videos went up. Fiesta 125, gear indeed. Oh, sick. So five doors, uh, air con, delicious bleh, wood paneling. Uh, I'm now I'm walking away from the vehicle and I've kind of done this all mad. So uh, yeah, I've, I've really done this in the wrong order. Um, Again, I'm distracted talking to you people. Just paper, just check. Right. Yeah, paper, good. Yes, um, Fiesta 1 to 5, so wood, interior, right, wood veneer, I should say, on the old delicious Ford cassette, six, pre six button preset, four speakers. Wowee, we're doing well. Aircon, which would basically. Uh... Cool, dude. I'll do a bit of a jog rather than keeping my in because it's done really a good turn. Yeah, aircon, which basically threw an anchor out the window and demolished all semblance of performance. Stalled on roundabouts if you was uh, particularly struggling. <laughs> Aircon, so we're talking V-Reg 99, Mark V, 1.25 Z-Tech, SE, black top. Sick! That was a wicked car. 75 horsepower, young kids now, you don't really need much. Eh. Oh! So five door, I didn't have a spoiler. I had color coded bumpers. I had the wheels where it was like pairs of spokes and like a convex dish but yeah mark 5 fiesta what a coincidence brilliant little car love that thing uh that was as i passed my test 14 years ago Whew. no i'm 31 yeah 14 years ago um oh and that was obviously a part time at a shop wages so i was bunging up five ten quid at a time <laughs> getting tapping my mates up for fuel money and i'll just get in a car and drive for the fun of it like, oh, sure, sure. Oh, let's just drive. Whee! Now, driving is just a means to an end. Um, quite possibly because I drive for a living, it's kind of sport it now. So, too much of a good thing. Yeah, I, I had some wicked time with that little car. Very good fun. And I would recommend one. So, if you just need a cheap little uh, commuter car, station motor, daily box. Good motors. I do miss it. But... That's just nostalgia. If I drove it again now, objectively, as an adult, I'd be like, oh, maybe this weren't so great after all. But again, it's an economy car. Blech. Come on. Pepper Red, that was what it was called. Pepper Red Metallic. Huh. Oh, that takes me back. Yeah, good little car it was. Had a Piper exhaust. Buttons ahoy. Talking too much nonsense again. Had a Piper exhaust, a Piper rear box rolled in tip straight through midsection 
little popcorn machine. Didn't do pops and bangs, it's just like a barble poppy overrun. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. No, no, no. Have faith. In there. Finish him. Mortal Kombat. Um, second car I had, Ford Sierra. Wow. Uh, short of the uh, Volvo 70 video, I think that's got my most views on this channel prior to all these bin lorry videos going up. That Ford Sierra, 989 gear, two litre twin cam, it was only an eight valve. I think it was one camshaft for the valves and the other camshaft drove an oil pump, I believe. The two litre twin cam, DOHC. Oh, that was a wicked car. Again, I'm never gonna be able to repeat that. Sierras and all classic Fords have gone mental. Um, oh, was, I bought that car for 1,600 quid. Yeah, that was a good car. Two litre, 125 horsepower, no catalytic converter, which will be important in a second. Uh, five speed manual, the MTE 75. Um, four electric windows, electric mirrors, amplified four speaker cassette, uh, front fogs, headlight washers, what else did it have? Central lock in. That car was fantastic. I absolutely loved that Sierra. Truly a childhood hero, no regrets. I say, growing up in the 90s, Sierras used to be everywhere. They used to be just the standard family car. They've, they've all gone now. It's either car shows or banger racing. But to waste a Sierra and banger race is mental. Um, I say, much like the Ford Mondeo now, the Ford Sierra was just the everyday, every man and woman car. This was just a family motor, fleet car, pickup truck, van, doing tip runs. People didn't care about Sierras. Now their museum pieces are worth, oh Christ, the Sierra Cosworth three door and the RS500, over, over 100 grand, some of these things, 150, some of them. But yeah, that was a good car. Woo, handsy. Hey, it's 22, man. 2022, no issues with hands. Yeah, so that had a Piper exhaust as well. I do like a Piper. Keen advocate of Piper products, as I've only had two in my life of all the cars I've had, but ours thoroughly satisfied their fit and finish. Three inch rolled out tip, very Essex. Baz Vegas drifting, not at all, not in the slightest. Um, yeah, so three inch rolled out tip. It's like a two inch diameter system. Was two boxes, but then after a while, I, uh, a little bit of a shout out, I went out to uh, Pipe Craft in Basildon and got him to take the center box out. Oh. Pop, pop, bang, bang. This is why I mentioned about the catalytic converter. You see, not, I couldn't do it on command, but occasionally it would hang a flame out the back. So much so, on some country lanes, I would see it reflected in the mirrors. It would like, illuminate the road behind me. It's like, oh, and it sounded wicked as well. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm having an issue with the GoPro recently where it's cutting off the last 10-15 minutes of clips I'm recording so when you go into editing I'm talking and then a clip will abruptly stop where in real life I would continue talking for 10-15 minutes further and for some reason it's been lost in translation so I shall take this opportunity to say thank you for watching subscribing, commenting sharing uh, viewership, the interaction, the comments warmth and positivity is always very welcome so thank you for watching so it's Lee's from King and I Hold on. You're a good lad. To say, uh, have a good day. Whoever you are, wherever you are, and whatever it is you do, be good to each other. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, be happy, and cheerio. Stay safe.